we'll go ahead and start with questions for head coach Mike Norris. Hey coach, I'm wondering if you could, for starters, kind of walk me through your vantage point of both the offsides on Sophia's goals and then also just speak to kind of the gravity she's commanding through two games this season offensively and the, what she's creating for you guys. Um, as far as the offsides, I, yeah, I need to say it again, to be honest. Um, the goal, second half, I don't know where that originated from, but yeah, I'm really curious to see that. And listen, Soph's had a huge impact again. Um, she's been very dynamic in how she played. We saw first 10, 15 minutes get her getting in behind, really threatening the back line. Um, but yeah, it's been another, it's, well, could have, should have been possibly three goals, but yeah, I think just a really good collective performance this week compared to last week, just night and day in terms of how we showed up and what we put out there. And then kind of speaking larger picture, um, I'm just wondering about your just overall takeaways on the game. Um, when we had Becky in here, uh, she said that you focused a lot on just like team defending as a thing for going into this game and that that was something that she thought the team did a lot better than last week. Um, I'm wondering if you have thoughts on that and just how the team played overall. Okay. Um, I think two pieces to that. I think when you concede five goals, I'd be naive if I didn't do any defending in terms of to fix that and prep for the next game. Overall thoughts today, I think, I don't think I could have asked for any more in terms of trying to win again. I'm not sure we could have done more without coming away with one or three points. Um, the effort was there, we never stopped. I think in terms of how we started the game and, and played through the 90, it was true to who we want to be and who we believe we are. I think the belief through the team was was there. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, like, it's just a tough one to swallow. Last week was tough because it wasn't us. Um, this week it's tough because we put a show on there and I think on a different day we, yeah, we come away with at least a point and, and maybe three, but it is what it is and we, well, even here with no points, so. For sure. And then wondering if you can quickly speak to what you saw from Hina when she came off the bench. I thought she added a lot of energy and was really good connecting with Soph. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Um, listen, I think the roster we try to to continue to evolve and build, when you have the likes of Hina's qualities coming off the bench, I think that's a huge luxury that we have. And um, she came on, she had an impact, and that's all we can ask from anybody coming off the bench. And we didn't. We definitely didn't dip with the players that came off uh, off the bench. So yeah, I mean, typical Hina got on the ball, looked to play a forward, huge energy in terms of what she covered around the field and yeah, positive impact. Hey Mike, I know you mentioned it a little bit earlier, uh, but just talking about just the backline improvement from last week and then especially Sh Shelby's performance today as well. Just uh Yeah, listen, I, th I think we, I would say we looked solid. Obviously, I mean, we've been undone by, I'd say, a quick free kick. Uh, they're getting out the other side. I'd say a really intelligent movement in the box from Esther. Um, playing against a world-class number nine there. and So, you know, we've been undone there. But I think it was, yeah, like we've gotten more proven, if you like, ex uh, partnerships in the back. Uh, we weren't in that position last week or we made different decisions as well based on the context of what we knew. So, yeah, I mean, I think we got out what we knew we could from that uh, back four, but I don't think it's just a back four, it's the, the players in front as well. It's a collective 11 when we, when we defend and I thought we did that well. Any questions on Zoom? Meg, there's some more at the front here, sorry. Oh, apologies. Um, obviously, it, it is a team effort, um, but Becky Sauer runs a player who I think, beyond her play on the field, brings a lot of leadership and stability to a team, and I'm wondering if you can speak to what kind of impact um, having her back t tonight was. Yeah, huge. I mean, Becky's class. Um, her presence is, is there, her leadership. Um, I think she just oozes confidence in terms of what she gives off and, and the belief and confidence that she has on other players. Um, and when you've got somebody of Becky's experience in the back line, I think the leadership, the communication part, I, I think it just helps to bring the best out of other people as well.
Um, but yeah, I mean, it's what we take for granted is a, a typical Becky Sauerbrunn performance, but yeah, she was great. And then coming out of the locker room at the half, it looked like uh, the team as a whole was dealing with the press a little bit better. Kind of what was that halftime messaging? Um, there was a couple of things we spoke around half time. There was some in possession work. I mean, we had tackled to even first half to use one midfield as more from the get go. We got the fullbacks higher. We felt it worked. They didn't necessarily respond how we anticipated to it. Um, they were giving the fullbacks more than we anticipated they would. But what we tried to fix at half time was the defending because they during the first half modified their midfield obviously tried to drop players lower than what we saw was trying to hit us in the opposite side pocket so we made some tweaks defending from the front and then yeah we just solidified more around how we how we got the high width and then how we uh utilized our midfield but we did arguably try and target more the opposite side in the f in the second half than what we did the first half Anything else in the room? I must be answering good here because he's okay. got follow-up um, questions. I was just thoughts. Um, I should write them down before I come in. Uh, but Marie Mueller uh, looked like she really built into that game and started to look really comfortable in the second half. Can you talk about her performance today? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased. I think we've, we've seen that through preseason, and I think this is where we have context of what we see every day. Um, yeah, she, she's been a really positive impact on the roster just as a person, but our, our abilities on the field since day one when she stepped in here. So that doesn't surprise us that she's put out that performance, to be honest. Um, but I mean, she's got a huge engine. I've said this, our, physicality, our physical capabilities for this league and, and for how we want to use the fullbacks. So yeah, I mean she'll be hurting like she's a competitor and to walk away on a loss, um, but she sh she should be proud of her performance and we are as well. Jaden, did you have a question on Zoom? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, my question was, uh, what was if you can explain the rationale behind only using two subs this game, kind of later in the match? Um, obviously Janine's coming off of her ACL, but. Uh, with the Jesse and Hina sub, I was wondering why those were the only two you made. Uh, I thought we actually had some good flow and momentum, to be honest. I mean, we've got Weaves, Sink, Sof in the front three. We modified our shape to try and chase a bit more. We got them narrow. We arguably went like a 3-2-5 two, two, to, to chase the game. Um, yeah, I think Hina brought the legs. We... I don't think we were stuck for momentum and just as a staff we felt we were in a position where that momentum was going to bring world goal. Um, but yeah, I, I, my initial thought right now is I wouldn't change what we've done. Um, so yeah, great question though. Anything else? All right, thank you, Mike. Thanks. Thanks everybody.